Hey guys, what's this app before? I've never seen it. What app are you talking about? Um, the Do Not Press app. I've never heard of that app before. Well, I'm gonna press it. No! Never press an app that said do not press. Ha ha ha. I see two new apps for the iPod. What? Oh, that's what do you mean? Who are you? What are you gonna do to us? Me? I'm the iPod king. I convert people into apps and press the do not press app. They are turned into new apps. No, I have a family. I can't stay here. I can't miss dinner. I have three questions for you to answer. If you can answer all three of them, that'll be worried if you are a user or an app. Now on to the Babylonzer app. So, who invented the iPod? The answer is Steve Jobs. That answer is correct. Our next app is the Buddy Poke app. How did the iPod get its name? Oh no! We don't know! Somebody help us! I'll look it up on the iPod Touch using the internet app. Look, it says the iPod got its name because the I in iPod means the person using it, and pod is a science fiction name that means that it's a device that can travel. Hey, iPod key. I and the iPod means the user, and pod means that it can travel from one place to another. That answer is correct. Now our last app, the Puppet Pals app. Last question to show if you are a user or an app. Why are apps called apps? I know this one. It's short for appetizer. No! Apps are short for applications. Those are the programs that run on the iPod Touch. I can't help it. I'm starving. Ha, ha, ha. You won't have to worry about being hungry anymore because that answer is incorrect. Looks like I have two new apps to add to the iPod store. Evil Monkey Attack!